Amen. And she's a member of the Mar uh, Morningstar Baptist Church. Uh -huh. Morningstar uh -huh. Baptist Church. So good to see you. Uh -huh. Amen. And she's retired from the church. So she also has a farm shop in the Heavenly Room. The Heavenly Room. The Stone Wall. Amen. She gave these beautiful flowers in there. Amen. Amen. First, giving our praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to our pastor. All of my sister brothers and wife. What a glorious, wonderful lesson. Amen. Amen. I've been struggling. I've been struggling. Open top. I'm ready to let it for two weeks. And there's still things that God is still speaking as we see here today. Yeah. Open eyes. I like what the children were saying and what God's brother said. Then my question is, if Jesus did all of this, why are we struggling having the problem that we're having today? He gave us hope. He gave us power. When he gave us the indwelling of his and when he filled us after we accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, he called us out of a world into his marvelous light. He equipped us and gave us all the tools for life that we would need. And yet we still find ourselves burdened, bound, confused, and being disobedient to what he has called us to do. He gave us one word. Yes. One word. Yes. He gave to the church as he created and ordained the church. Mm -hmm. One word. All right. All right. Go and make disciples. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. We are to go out into the hedges in the highway mm -hmm. and tell them come yeah. unto God. We are to bring them under the under shepherd, and he along with us are to groom them for God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. And yet this lesson breaks down when they give us our three outlines, recalling the evidence. Now we know that we're dealing with in our lesson the, the beginning of the church, mm -hmm. the first century. Mm -hmm. They didn't have the evidence that we had. So therefore, we ought to be more equipped today than they were then. They didn't have the power that we had, but yet they had more power than we have today because we find ourselves not using what God has given us. He said, freely I have given you and freely we have received. So therefore, what is the gift? Because as our teachers have said so beautifully in our lesson, more, all of us have a gift. And yet, and yet, we do not develop the gift that God has placed in each one of us so that we can be effective. Because the problem with the church today, because you see like the world is winning, we are ineffective. Because we're not using the power. Yeah. Yeah. that God has given to us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we say, well, thank God he's given us the Holy Spirit. He just didn't give it to you. He put it in. That's right. That's right. See, right. what you feed mm -hmm. is what's going to lead. Come on. Yeah. What you feed is what's going to lead. So if I'm not being, I'm not eating. Yeah. Right. Okay. If I'm not studying, yeah. if I'm not meditating, yeah. if I'm not praying, Is going through 